In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite routes right now in Madden 23 out of the Trips Tight End Formation. We're going to be showing this out of the New England Patriots playbook. And really, if you're a Trips Tight End player, you want there's a little bit of a debate of do you run Washington or um, Detroit or do you run New England? And in this video, we're going to show you a really, really good route that is only found, um, I believe it's in the Raiders playbook as well as New England, but those are basically like very, very similar uh, playbooks. But I just wanted to show you this. This is really decent for the man-to-man -man meta and then you can kind of scheme around the route uh, to be able to find zone beaters as well uh, so again we're just going to come out and the play we're going to be breaking down is the Pat's YN play this has been a really good play for years um, but there's a specific route in this play that I, I want to highlight um, and we're going to show it against man coverage. Now, um, if you guys want to get my full Trips Tight End Offensive ebook, we are updating that ebook uh, probably later today for you guys. Um, it's already received several updates. Um, you know, but again, you get our Patreon membership, you get all of our ebooks and all the updates to those ebooks. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is down below. It's only 10 bucks. But let's get into this Pat's YN. So why is this play so good? This play is really, really good primarily for the fact that we have a couple of routes that we can't really hot route. We have this little uh, rounded out route to Chris Godwin, and we have this uh, route to Julio Jones. Now, this specific route to Chris Godwin right here is kind of sprinkled all around the Patriots playbook. It's in U-trips. It's in um, other formations as well. And what you're going to see is when I snap this ball, a lot of times he'll get this really nice separation of the outside, whether or not um, you know their their coverage is is that good. It, it really is relevant. Like a lot of times, this route will literally just get this little rounded. You see, I lights up a lot too. Now, Chris Godwin, I believe, has slotomatic, but he doesn't have short in elite. Pretty sure that's right. Let me just double check uh, the coaching. Uh, settings. I don't know how to actually do that inside of practice mode, but I'm pretty sure you only have Slotomatic. Okay, so from here we can kind of scheme around this. So there's a lot of different setups that you could do. Uh, really simple one right here is wheel the running back, and then we're just going to motion block this guy. I think this is a really, really good setup for the current meta. And as you see, this is just consistently going to roast man to man to the outside. So what this is going to cause is it's going to cause them to kind of need to shade outside, maybe drop a zone over there. And then of course the beauty of that is if they start to do that, then you're gonna have this skinny post um, to the inside. So you see here, he goes inside, whereas the out route goes outside. And so they can't really shade to stop the route. They're gonna have to just simply drop a zone over there. Okay, so now they're gonna have to drop a zone over there, which gives us more time you know, against the pressure. You'll notice that the zone really doesn't guard it that well. Um, it's kind of one of those routes where you don't, f they need to have outside leverage uh, to be able to stop it. So another comp, comp, uh, or not comp, but another popular adjustment might be to like basically play a man coverage there and then have that guy on the safety. So in that scenario, you could do, you know, a lot of different things with your, with your routes here, but you'll see here, this is probably, I think one of the better ways to cover this. Um, you know, but then you have your tight end. Now, if you have short and elite on that tight end, he's going to be a little bit more consistent. This also gives you kind of the slant post concept that's been good in Madden for years without having to have a tight end apprentice, right? You have the basically the stock route. So you can just do something like this right here. And now we're in one of the most effective concepts, you know, year in and year out, as you see the absolute craziness that is the cover one robber press um, uh, in practice mode, you know, but you see how good this is. And you can, again, kind of use a lot of these routes. They're just routes that are really effective to have in this year's game. And the, the real key is this out route. Now, um, I wanted to illustrate a little bit further why this route is important and how you can kind of scheme around it. So we're going to jump into U-Trips here. I do have an ebook on this as well. If you want to get access to that, again, it's in the Patreon. Um, but the play we're going to be taking a look at here is Pat Slot Out. And what you'll see is it's the same basic route. You see how it's that little angled, little quick hitting out. So you're gonna see again, a lot of times when he lights up, he'll get open to the sideline. And right there, got a little bit better um, coverage. Let me actually just help with the spacing and move this ball to this hash mark. Plays do work a little different depending on the hash mark they're on, but what you'll see here is a lot of times, pass lead outside once he lights up, and as you can see, um, wide open, wide open, okay? Um, and like I said, this is kind of, this, this route is kind of sprinkled 
all throughout the Patriots playbook. It's you know we used to call it um, the in route version of this is a it's called a dragon route, and I'll show you that out of Drive Post. And the out route version of this, I'm not quite sure exactly what the technical term is for it, but it's you know again it's just one of those unique routes that you can't hot route. So if I go to the play Drive Post here, you're going to see that uh, Mike Evans is now on this route. Um, it's not quite as good if it's going to be in cutting, uh, but you will see here. You can get separation. Obviously, I'm getting absolutely screamed at. Um, you know, but you can you can get some separation with this. Uh, on the in route, we're going to show another thing you can do with it in just a second. Um, but what you'll see here, you know, he kind of runs. That time, he's not getting any separation whatsoever. I think the jam is really the key to this. So, anyways, he's not getting open. But what we can do is we can actually motion him across, and now the in route is going to become you know an out route. So you see here. See how he kind of rounds out just like that, and I can kind of throw that with an outside pass lead. Again, if you have a short out or short in elite, they're going to light up on the, this this specific route. Um, you know, so this is kind of one of my favorite go tos. You know, just as something quick against man, just give me something quick against man uh, that can be fairly consistent. Now, I uh, want to go back to Pat's YN for just a second. I want to break this down against zone, and I want to show you one other thing that you can do with it, just in the you know the little time that we have together today obviously in the ebook we're going to go into more depth but uh what another thing you can do is you can actually motion this guy over and he's going to be an in route so you can kind of have a levels route but if you'll notice you see how slow that runs and it just doesn't get that same like quick hitting cut um if you let him set his feet i'll show you what that looks like so here we're going to let him set his feet and if you watch here um he's a little it's a little better but you know doesn't get open Right, not very good against, um, not very very good against uh, the man to man. Uh, but of course, when we do this, you see that is really the value of this route. Able to hit quick, quick hitting route from man. It's going to force him to have underneath zones uh, on that sideline. Okay, so now um, this is going to funnel them into a zone look. So they're going to probably go with something like this. So my favorite thing to do, um, you know, you can you can kind of do whatever you want. Uh, I love to just motion block here and have a wheel, and we're just going to use a high low. So if they go there, then our tight end in route, you see that that's coming in behind it wide open. So if they if they're playing hard flats on you, then another thing you can do is kind of do something like this. This is a really really good setup for this play um, because it's going to really be good against man and zone. And the C route when you pair that with a streak on that sideline, it's going to help it kind of get over the top of man. So we have that as uh, another another option. I will say one thing about this wheel route that I think is really underrated, especially if they're going to go to zone. And it does take some reps here, but he'll actually pull out that outside third, and you can throw that right in that little window right there. Um, again, I think set feet lead is a really important ability with like Drew Bledsoe right now in Ultimate Team, or Rogers because he has such a good release. You know, but doing something like this. And then you see how he pulls the zone out, and I can throw the ball right in that little window. So, uh, you know, really nice little play here. If they do go to cover two uh, to try to stop this, and they, you know, you know, kind of run a traditional cover two, a lot of times they're going to come down on this route, and then you're going to have that fade right in behind it. So this play really can beat everything. You don't even really need to make any adjustments. One of my favorites is to just block the running back and, you know, get the ball, you know, just kind of snap and, you know, make a read, right? There is a terrible read, but but anyways, um, you know this play can really break down coverage a lot, and you can pair this with other setups off of it. Like, let me give you another really good example. So we could do we could keep this post here, and then we could just motion this guy across, put him on a smart routed in, block our running back, and then you can have kind of like a Y cross style of play, and you still are able to leverage that route against man to man. So you can kind of freestyle a little bit with this play uh, and kind of turn it into whatever you want, right? Let's say you have a tight end apprentice. You know, maybe you want to put like a, a corner route to the tight end and you could do like a little motion slant. So now you have something like this. And again, we're just leveraging the power of that route's ability to be able to consistently beat man. It's probably the glitchiest route, in my personal opinion, this year uh, for man coverage out of trips tight end. Um, it's one of the best man meeting routes that we've seen. And so, you know, this is one of the big reasons why, um, you know, a lot of the pro players are, are, are shifting back to New England um, because of this specific play, I think. And again, you can do a lot more with it than what I'm sharing in this video here. Um, 
you know, but by and large, this is an incredible concept. So use this, apply this if you're a trip set in player. If you want to get my full ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and hopefully we'll see you over at the Patreon page.